This lecture is brought to you by the extraocular muscles, a set of muscles that lets you control your vision and gaze. I'm not going to have you learn all the names of these muscles, but I want you to figure out how they integrate with the nervous system because it's quite fascinating how we can control our eyes. We need to do that so well for reading, for example, or in primitive times to hunt and avoid being hunted. One of the key features is our ability to stabilize our gaze. We want to stabilize our gaze in the face of, of running or running away. So your head's bouncing around, but you need a stable eye gaze. So how does that work? You have these set of muscles together with reflexes, and in particular, the vestibular ocular reflex. You can demonstrate this vestibular ocular reflex to yourself quite easily. If I, for example, look at my hand and I move my head, try it. Move your head, look at your hand. Your hand looks perfectly clear. You're able to stabilize your gaze and focus. But instead, if you move your hand, you don't have those reflexes in play and your hand is super blurry. So the magic of the vestibular ocular reflex is that you're taking input from your vestibular system. It's reflexing onto these eye muscles and stabilizing your gaze. This is diminished when you drink alcohol, which is why your vision goes blurry when you get drunk. Now, if you look at the anatomy, you can see how these muscles are laid out. And it's pretty cool. In the four cardinal directions, so superior, you have the superior rectus here. Inferior, you have the inferior rectus. And then you have a muscle that will move you laterally or medially. So you see how anatomy that will turn your eye up turn your eye down, move you medially, and move you laterally. So those are the extraocular muscles, really fascinating, and they'll come into play when we talk about reflexes and motor control.